there's this one thing that every Genshin Impact player believes in and it's actually not true at all. But do you know about this? And no, I'm not talking about using rituals to increase your wishing luck or sacrificing your Chi Chi to win your next 50-50. Cause this story is about Mona and her being poor. But did you know that she actually works under the Hydro Archon and is secretly rich? So the Code of Fontaine is the Code of the Hydro Archon and they are in charge of the Steam Bird which is a newspaper that Mona writes for and it's actually read all across Tivat. So you can tell that she's extremely smart but even with this brain power, she's unable to manage her money. So every time she gets paid, she spends it all on astrology related duels and work to the point where she's unable to buy herself good food. One of her idle animations shows her pulling one Mora out of her wallet. Poyos even added a commission where you had to go to Mona's house to collect rent but discover that she's missing. But what if I told you that she's actually not broke? Cause if you go through her teapot dialogues, you'll find out that she's actually saving some money for you. Let's go on a vacation together. I specially prepared a savings jar. Every time I received a payment, I put aside some of it. Eventually, I had saved up enough. 